IBIT Grade 10. This is Module 3.2 Electronic Communication. There are all sorts of e-communication applications that a lot of you use every day. Email, social networking, online chats, instant messaging, SMS and MMS, video conferencing and VoIP. We'll talk about each of these in a little more detail. The social networking sites that we use are um, where individuals can post likes and dislikes, interests, photos, activities, and the whole idea is just keeping in touch with other people. It could be friends, but it could also be for business. There are many business-oriented sites as well for social networking. Some companies do block these sites for their employees because it just wastes too much time. They call it cyber slacking. Online chat is where two or more people can have a conversation by typing. So instead of talking with their voices, they type to each other. It's done in real time. So you type, then you wait for the person's answer. This is often done on websites for companies where you can talk to them if you want more details about whatever they're selling. There are also chat rooms, which are websites that allow people to meet and chat. Usually it's based on a particular topic. Then there's instant messaging. This is live text-based communication ability. And usually it works with people who you know and you can invite the person you're talking to. So it's not just like anybody can talk to you on instant messaging. You have to accept them and allow them to talk to you. SMS and MMS is the more old-fashioned way that we've used to send short messages. With SMS, it's just text. With MMS, that stands for Multimedia Message Service. And you can send photos as well and um, more multimedia. So it's just for short messages between cell phones. Video conferencing is done when you want to have a conference, but the person that you want to include in the conference is not physically in the same place as you. So um, you will need a computer network to transmit the audio and the video. It could be the internet or it could be your own company's network. And obviously you need a good camera, a microphone and speakers at both locations where the conferencing is being in, um, done. And there's VoIP. This is more used by individuals who want to communicate each other with each other in a cheaper way than using the normal telephone lines. So you make phone calls over a LAN or a WAN or over the internet and the voice and the image as well can travel just like data would normally on the internet you could do also do conference calls so it's not just between two parties it can be with more than two parties and a good example of VoIP is Skype which is one of the brand names which does VoIP calls let's look at a bit of more detail at email, um, it's one of the biggest e-communication methods used. Email is fast. It can be used anytime and anywhere. It's inexpensive once you've got the right equipment, if you've got um, an internet link as well. It's very versatile. You can include photos or other files as long as they're not too big. And it decreases our use of paper, which is a good thing. The disadvantages of emailing, your recipient needs access to the internet. Viruses can also be easily spread via attachments. And there's no guarantee that your email will be read. You might send it, but the recipient might ignore it. There's also a lot of spam mail that goes around and a lot of junk mail. Um, there's a difference between ISP, which is Internet Service Provider Based Web 
email and web-based email. So ISP-based, say your, your ISP is um, MWeb, they will give you a free email address as part of your contract and you will use that for your emailing. It is becoming less common. Web-based mail, we call it web mail, is um, like Gmail or Yahoo mail. It, here you get an email account which you access via your browser. So you go into Chrome or Internet Explorer and you then can look up your email account. And signing up is free and using these accounts is completely free. If you look at an email address, there's a lot you can tell from it. Um, the type of organization, if it's .com, um, com is an organization, biz is a business, edu stands for educational, gov is government, org is a non-profit organization, co is a company, and ac is academic. So that's um, between just before the last dot in the, in the email address. And then the, la the last item in the email address is the location. If you see ZA, it's South Africa, UK, United Kingdom. SA is actually Saudi Arabia. And LS is Lesotho. Um, I also get a lot of emails from FR, which is France.